Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I'm here with Scott Winship. He is the president of Chassis Systems Control, Bosch North America. Hey, Scott. Hi. So we have been looking at all of your systems, and you are the Chassis Systems Control, but what we're looking for is the automated side of what you do. Mm -hmm. What systems are in a car that most people don't even realize make an automated vehicle? All right. Well, that's one of the reasons we're here at the CES is to educate the end consumer about the technologies that they can get today. Mm -hmm. First is uh, adaptive cruise control, which utilizes our front radar. It maintains a safe distance between the car ahead of you and your vehicle. And if the car in front of you brakes, your car will brake. And if the car in front of you accelerates, your car will accelerate without any driver input. And that makes not only for safe driving, but also for comfortable driving. Now, I know that quite a few of the luxury vehicles have adaptive cruise control already. Do we see anyone like Chrysler or any of the ones that are coming down into the mid-level having yeah. adaptive cruise control? You'll find uh, the Bosch system on a number of Chrysler vehicles uh, in the marketplace today, the, the 300, the Charger. And we're utilizing the front radar, uh, which runs uh, the adaptive cruise control, to now start uh, moving towards predictive emergency braking. Predictive which, emergency braking. Yeah. The first thing that happens is if a driver is, let's say, approaching a stop vehicle too quickly, a forward collision warning will be sounded. If the driver uh, doesn't react, we can start to partially brake the car to buy more time for the driver. Right. If the driver still doesn't react, um, then we can go into more of a full emergency braking. Normally when you go into a full emergency braking you want to have some redundant systems so we have a camera system uh, we use uh, some of the uh, data fusion in order to make that decision. Because we're getting so much safety stuff on our right. cars, we don't even realize we have it. We also have uh, radar in the back of the vehicle for blind spot detection. It also can monitor cross traffic if you're in a parking lot. I think we've all had that situation with large SUVs next to us and we're backing up and we can't see. It will warn us if cars are coming. Is that sort of the, the crux of what we have that we, we don't even know on there, or is there even more? Well, you know, we're, we're moving towards other safety systems. Mm -hmm. I think vehicles are going to become more and more automated over time. Mm -hmm. It will be a stepwise approach, um, and there'll be new features that will be launched uh, uh, going forward in the future. Probably in the next three to five years, you'll see much higher levels of automation in vehicles.